Welcome to today's messy church. You will need a responsible child. You will need your packed lunch or picnic or tea party, whatever you would like. You will need something to make a road to go on a journey. So you can use anything you like. It could be pillows. It could be stones. It could be um, paper, whatever you want. Um, and then you will also need something to build a little hut, a little house, a little den. And then you will also need um, a piece of paper, some pens and some colouring material. And welcome to today's Messy Church. Two people moving and marching, thinking, head scratching about something big that's just been happening. But on the road to Emmaus from Jerusalem Way, two became three as another says, Hey, hey, says he, you've been thinking and head scratching. Has something big just been happening? <gasps> you've not heard about what's been happening? All of Jerusalem have been head scratching. What have I missed? Asks the man. I'd love to know. Please tell if you can. It's about a man called Jesus. And we thought he was coming to rescue God's people and send the Romans off running. He did and he said loads of cool stuff from a place up north called Nazareth. He told great stories and healed the sick. He knew people by name and what made them tick. Oh, remember that wedding? He turned water to wine. Brought his friend back to life and his friend felt just fine. He was sharing and caring, just ask his friend Pete. He walked on the water with only his feet. He said shush to the storm and the storm was hushed. He did a miracle with bread and thousands were stuffed. Besides all this, his sermon up a hill had so many stories, super cool and brill. I can't believe it, what a big loss. A man so great who hung on a cross and on that cross, that's where he died. I feel so tied up in knots inside. And three days have passed, though it feels more like seventy, cause now we've heard that his tomb is empty. <laughs> That's right, you heard me, his body is gone. But who'd take his body? He never did wrong. You seem confused and out of the picture. So let me show you what it says in the scripture. It was always the plan, right from the start, because Jesus loved you with all of his heart. He died on a cross, but rose from the tomb. He came back to life so you can live too. And as they were moving, and still head scratching, two of them stopped, but the third kept on marching. Uh, hey, uh, don't go, please, the two say. The sun's gone to bed, so why don't you stay? Good point, says the third. Day has turned to night. I'll stop over with you two and then grab a bite. And as they sit down to eat, they close their eyes. He thanks God for the grub, then what a surprise! The two people stare and then rub their eyes. It's Jesus, not gone, but fully alive! And before they say seconds, there's more bread going round. Jesus just vanishes. He cannot be found. The two are left thinking and really head scratching. They'd just been with Jesus. Something big was happening. We must say we've seen Jesus, so tie up your shoes. Quick to Jerusalem, there's no time to lose. All along it was Jesus, the very same one. They were searching the scriptures with God's precious son. It's the biggest story that's ever been told about Jesus who's risen, it never gets old. The two met with Jesus in the most surprising way. They shared the story and we still share it today. It's Emily and Jerry. So we're going to start with making our meal for the end of the road inside our den at the end of the Mayus Road. So we've got some cucumbers, we've got some celery, we've got some cherry tomatoes, some hummus and some apple. So what we're going to do and some pizza bread. So what we're going to do is we're going to make little sticks with some hummus and then we're going to wrap it in tin foil, 
or cling film just to keep it um, covered away from the flies and then and we've chosen all the healthy stuff because with everything going on we want to keep ourselves fit and healthy and eat healthy things so we're going to chop everything up and then we'll show you our finished platter so this is our finished product it's a nice platter of hummus um, celery cucumber apples tomato and strips of pita bread we're going to enjoy that and what we're going to do now while you look at this activity with Jane, we're going to go and build our Emmaus Road. And we are using things inside our garden. So we will build, but let's show you what we've got here. So we've got stones all over our garden. We've got a shovel. We've got some big puzzle pieces, some blankets and some chairs. And we're going to build something in the garden. So enjoy Jane's activity. You will need some paper and a pen and coloring pencils and your foot. So we look forward to seeing you after this. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, we hear the story of the road to Emmaus. This story tells us about Cleopas and his friend who did not recognise Jesus as they walked along the road. Jesus had died and they were feeling sad and alone. We can sometimes feel sad and alone too. But Jesus walks beside us, even if we don't recognise him every time. The activity today is about how we can follow Jesus each day. So there's an outline of a foot that you will need to draw around, probably your own foot on a piece of A4 paper. Then next, you can put at the top of your page, ways I will follow Jesus. Then divide your foot up into seven sections, starting with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then at each day, you'll be thinking about different ways that you could follow Jesus. And then you can colour in, I'll show you on the next one, colour in all the toes in different colours. There. And then we've got the days of the week coloured as well. And then here you can write some examples of ways that you will follow Jesus. So I've written, number one, pray for others. Number two, give my time. Number three, be loving. Number four, be kind. Number five, listen. Number six, be honest and truthful. And number seven, pray with thanksgiving. And then at the bottom... It says, write down seven ways you will follow Jesus and colour in the foot. So we have made our, our road with our house at the end, our little den. And we just want to reflect on now. So Emily is going to travel along the Emmaus Road like Cleopas and his friend did. And they were talking and they were so sad about what happened in Jerusalem. So Emily, as you walk in on your journey, my dear, where do you think Jesus is with you on the way? Can you see him? No, but he's beside me. So he's beside you, yeah? Right, I want you to walk along the way as we think about that story. We think about all the stones, like when Moses, if you stop there, Emily, when Moses, when all the people were in the wilderness and they had to struck the stone and water came out because it was a miracle from God for Moses so that the people could drink water. So out of the rock came living water. Now, I want you to look and I want you to pick up a special stone for me. 
Right, I want you to hold it tight. And it's cold now, but the longer you hold it, the more that stone becomes warmer, doesn't it? And we are like those stones in God's hands, aren't we? So even though we are on our, we feel like we're on our own on the journey, um, we are like those stones that are warmed up in God's hands. What do you think when Jesus rode into Jerusalem? Remember Jesus said that um, if the people don't praise him, that the stones will start praising him. Do you remember that story in Palm Sunday? Yes. So let me see that special stone. If you turn it over this way, it looks very plain, doesn't it? Yeah. Turn it the other way for me. Oh my goodness, it's a crystal. So I think we are precious like that to Jesus, aren't we? Yeah. So as you're holding that stone, is there anything you'd like to think about during this time? Where do you think Jesus is with you now on your journey? He's beside me and holding the stone with me. Is he? That's lovely, my angel. So he may look blank and just like a normal, ordinary person from the outside, but but we're but we're like this in the inside, and Jesus and Jesus thinks so precious like that on the inside as well. That's amazing. So you continue your journey while everyone else gets into a bit of praise and worship. This is Sally Lloyd Jones reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible, a paraphrase of the Lord's Prayer. Hello, Daddy. We want to know you and be close to you. Please show us how. Make everything in the world right again and in our hearts too. Do what is best, just like you do in heaven. And please do it down here too. Please give us everything we need today. Forgive us for doing wrong, for hurting you. Forgive us just as we forgive other people when they hurt us. Rescue us. We need you. We don't want to keep running away and hiding from you. Keep us safe from our enemies. You're strong, God. You can do whatever you want. You're in charge, now and forever and for always. We think you're great. Amen. Yes, we do.
Well, we've made it all the way down the Emmaus Road. And we are now in our little den, our little house. We're here with Emily's foxes and we're going to enjoy our food. So, Emily, what is the prayer that you were taught to say when you say grace? Can you say it for us so we can have our food and let everyone else have their food? Thank you, Lord, for the food. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Amen. Yes, Lord. We just think about all those people that don't have food right now. Lord, we pray that you provide for them and that you bless them. And Lord, bless the hands that made this food. And we thank you that you've provided so much for us. We hope you've enjoyed our little messy service. And we would love to see the pictures of your beautiful creations, whether it be your feet prayers or your Emmaus road or your den or the little meal that you had. So we'd love to hear from you. We hope you enjoyed this week's Messy Church. And next week, Lucy will be looking at another part of the story towards Pentecost. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So Emily, we say bye for now and God bless. Stay safe. Stay home. Save the NHS. Bye.